And I just want to take a breath here because for anybody who's watching or listening right now, can you imagine this happened not even a year ago? And can you see Sarah, how she's talking about her husband passing away and like in such dramatic circumstances and you're not, you're not broken. You're not lying here depressed in alcohol, in yeah. whatever addictions, you're not in a mental hospital. You're not yeah. taking, and let me know, let, is it still the case? You're not taking any kind of medication because before you were on antidepressants and stuff. Yeah. I still take Wellbutrin, which is, was to help me quit smoking. Mm -hmm. Um, I still take that every day, but they actually, when I went to the hospital, when I wasn't sleeping after quitting weed and she actually prescribed me Seroquel, which is an antipsychotic. And I was like, I don't think I'm psychotic. And I tried it like a, for a week or two. And I was like, I don't like this. I don't like how this makes me feel like, yes, it may help me sleep. And it stopped the vivid dreams of like these weird dreams that I was having. But that was also the coming off the weed. It yeah. actually says that coming off the weed, you do have vivid dreams. And it's uh, now that I'm watching some videos too, it's also becoming more um, awakened is like spiritually awakened when you're yeah. having these vivid dreams. So like, I still take valerian and, and gravel, which I know I, I have to stop taking too. It's like you replace one thing with another, but at least I'm not taking weed and alcohol and, exactly. you know, that that it's Seroquel. I, I stopped that too because I was like, this is not what I need. I don't need more prescription drugs to help me. Like the Wellbutrin, fine. I do want to get off that too eventually. But for now, it's, you know, it's one, it's one little antidepressant that is not really doing that much i don't even think because i've been on it for years since i was like 25 but it's not something my doctor would be like stop taking right now but because i think it's just an I'm emotional doing. crutch and i'm i'm here and just yeah. for everybody to know i will i'm not a medical doctor i will never make any recommendations in terms of your medication or stuff but what i see happening for all moms across the board and even for sarah under these dramatic life circumstances like you after you knew how the healed, strong, mentally strong self feels. You yourself, you knew when you started taking some new drugs on doctor's recommendations, you were like, no, no, no. After one week, like, no, thank you. Yeah, yeah. This, like, is this is what's possible. And this is what's so amazing about you. And it shows your strength and the power of your healing. Because even given all of this drama and, and this sadness and the grief and the load on you, because after yeah. your husband passed, so you became basically a single mom. You were moving into a home with now one salary, all of his finances and everything and it was blocked. And there were even issues around that because people were like taking the money that oh. people contributed to you. Like there was yeah. so much drama. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You were not even sure. allowed to grieve and process because you were so yeah. busy handling all of that around and just trying to survive the day to day. So I'm really yeah. like, this is why I was starting this podcast episode, yeah. just with giving you the respect and honor you because this shows how much you have already healed, how much work you've done. And it's amazing. Yeah.